Okay, um, let's talk about uh, newton raphson method in uh, Python. So what's the, there are three objectives to this uh, assignment. Um, uh, the first objective, learning objective, is um, uh, practice with Python ID, your favorite Python ID. Uh, well, I will do it in idle, but um, you may choose something else. Uh, the second learning objective is um, uh, playing with the Python interpreter. So to uh, give you more uh, practice with the Python interpreter. And uh, uh, objective number three is uh, uh, learning to write recursive definitions in Python. So here's a brief uh, calculus background. If you have had uh, a calculus class, then it's a review. If you have not had it, uh, then don't worry. Understanding of this material uh, is not necessary uh, for completion. Uh, for the completion of this assignment. You may come back to it later. So, um, in many areas of uh, science and engineering, uh, we're interested in uh, solving, uh, finding the roots of uh, uh, this uh, equation, f of x equals zero. So, there is a well-known formula for the quadratic um, uh, polynomial. Um, then, um, there are formulas, albeit a lot more complex, uh, for the third-degree polynomials, um, a to the x uh, to the third, um, and a uh, times x to the fourth, and uh, so forth. Uh, and then uh, there is no known formula, well, not yet anyway, uh, to the fifth degree polynomials, uh, fifth or, uh, or higher. So what do you do in this case? Um, how do you solve them? Right, in computer graphics, for example. Well, the only way known so far is um, approximate. And one of the methods uh, used to um, um, find approximate roots of those um, equations uh, is known as uh, newton raphson uh, method. So uh, let me briefly uh, sketch the essence of that uh, method. And again, uh, if you cannot follow along, then you may want to come back to it after you have taken a calculus class or uh, if not, then I uh, just uh, implement the end formula, uh, which is the objective of this assignment. Um, so let's say that we have this curve, uh, f of x, and we're interested in finding this root, f of x is equal to zero. So let's say that that's the only root. We start with a guess, okay, x1. Well, either it's just an arbitrary guess um, or it's some um, educated guess. For example, in this example, we sketch the curve and then we decided, okay, this is a reasonable guess. So this is the value of f of x1. And uh, um, that's the point uh, x1, f of x1. So let's draw um, a, a line L a tangent to the green curve at that point. Right. Notice this intersection. Let's call it x2. Um, okay, and it's a lot closer to uh, the real root than uh, x1. So let's try to um, identify the slope. The slope of L uh, is um, uh, equal to the derivative of um, f L of uh, f at x1. Right. That's the that's the slope of L. And then we can use the point-slope formula, uh, y minus uh, f of x1 equals the derivative of f at x1 times x minus x1. Right, so that's the equation of uh, L. So at x2, um, y is 0, so that becomes uh, 0 minus uh, f of x1. Uh, equals a derivative of f at x1, x minus uh, x1. Mm, so y is 0 both at x1 and, uh, and x2. Um, so let's um, uh, rewrite it. Um, okay, I just noticed that I didn't plug, uh, plug in um, x2. So um, in the uh, line above, so 0 minus f of x1 equals derivative of uh, f at x1, x2 minus x1. And now we can solve for x2. So x2 minus x1 uh, is equal to negative uh, f of x1 over the derivative of f at x1. 
assuming that the derivative of f at x1 is not equal to uh, 0. And we can generalize this, and this is known as the uh, newton raphson method. Uh, so um, the n plus first guess, right, or the next guess, can be obtained recursively from the previous guess according to this formula. Uh, x of n plus 1 uh, is equal to uh, x of n over minus f of x of n, oops, n, n, okay, the previous guess, the value of f at the previous guess over mm, the derivative of f at xn, mm, assuming that the derivative, the value of the derivative of the xn is not equal to zero. So here's an example. So the second guess is obtained from the first, um, like this. So x1 uh, minus f of x1, the derivative of f uh, x1, and then the third is obtained from the second, x2 minus f of x2, and the derivative of uh, f of x2, uh, and uh, so forth. I will continue.